Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous videos, we see what is Bootstrap and how to add Bootstrap in our website and also see some of the glimpses of Bootstrap. But in this video, we will see one of the most important concepts of Bootstrap, which is the breakpoints. So if you are new to this channel or wanted to learn Bootstrap from this scratch, then don't forget to check out my Bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist and also please subscribe to my channel. So if you are already subscribed to my channel and access the playlist, so let's start. So before discussing about the breakpoints, just see this is our bootstrap website documentation page and it is completely responsive and to make a website responsive you need to change some of the layouts of the website. Just like in here for the large screen or the laptop screen view, you can see the navbar contains all of the nav links. But if you do the same navbar layout in the mobile devices, then due to the small screen width, the nav links will be overlapped to each other and it will not be visible or accessed properly. So for that reason we must do some layout changes and just see for the smaller devices or the mobile view the nav links are no longer here in the navbar instead of there is a toggle button so if you just click on this toggle button the whole navbar will be expanded so this is how you should responsive the website and also just see for the larger screen size there are the left sidebar and also there are the right sidebar but for the medium screen or the tablet view the right sidebar is disappeared and the right sidebar actually came under the introduction section just see after the introduction section all of the right side navbar is came here and the left sidebar is always here but for the mobile screen side the left sidebar is no longer there it will changes with a toggle button just see here the left sidebar is changes with a toggle button so if you just click on this toggle button then all of the left side navbar will be expanded so this is how you should change your layout according to the screen size of your devices. So if you are trying to build a responsive website, you always should take care of how your website should look like in the different screen size devices. And there came the concept of bootstrap breakpoint. So the breakpoints are the customizable width that determines how your responsive layout should behave across different devices. And this is the building block of the responsive design in the bootstrap. And by the help of the Bootstrap breakpoint, you can change or customize your website layout according to your screen size. And currently Bootstrap has 6 breakpoints and those are extra small, small, medium, large, extra large and extra extra large. And each of the breakpoints has some dimension. So suppose your device currently has less than 576 pixels, then your device will be considered as the extra small. So all of the layouts that we mentioned for the extra small screen size, then all of this layout will be currently showing in your device or suppose your device is greater than 996 pixels and less than 1200 pixels so your device will be considered as the large screen size okay so all of the layout that we mentioned for the large screen size will be visible to you and this is how we change the layout of bootstrap and with the help of the class infixes that is written here uh, we have different class infixes for the different breakpoints just like for the extra small we have none and none is because we don't need to specify any class in fixes and you can see for small it is the same or medium it is empty similarly we have lots of the class in fixes and we know in the bootstrap we have some predefined classes and with the help of the class in fixes if we put the class in fixes in between these classes then we will mentioning the bootstrap that for the medium screen range for or for any breakpoint screen size range this class or this layout should be works. and we know that bootstrap always work on the mobile first view so each of the layout that we have written for the smaller screen size will be visible for the greater screen size range also okay so suppose we have written some code only for the extra small screen size range okay so we have written some code for extra small screen size range and if we do not write any screen size range or do not write any layout for another or any layout or any breakpoint says then the layout which we have written for the extra small screen size will be visible for all of the screen sizes okay so if we write something code like this for the extra small screen size then this will be visible for all of the screen sizes okay and suppose i am written some code for the extra small screen size range or i am creating two layouts one for the excess small screen size and one for the large screen size okay then for the small and medium screen size range the extra small screen size layout that we have written will be visible for these two and 
for after the large screen size the excel and xsl screen size layout will be same as we written for the large screen size okay so bootstrap always taken the decent or the last layout that it get okay so if you write some code for the extra small screen size and for large screen size then medium screen size will be taken the extra small screen size layout or the double xl screen size will be taken the layout you have mentioned for the large screen size okay so this is how bootstrap work and suppose you have written some code for the small screen size range and you have written some code for the medium screen size or you have written some code for large or extra large all of this screen size layout then for each of the screen size the layout will be changed just like here we have some example as for the small screen size range or our mobile devices it has some layout okay and you can see this is for the medium screen size which is the tablet view you can see this layout is changed and for the laptop screen for or the large screen size this layout is also changed and for the excel or xsl screen size which is the large monitors the uh, layout is also changed and for doing this type of things you need to write all of the layouts code just by all of yourself okay so for doing this type of things you need to write one code layout for the small screen size one code for the medium one code for the large and one code for the extra large okay so this is how you do and you can see we have seen the bootstrap layout here and suppose we have talked this type of navbar thing okay so for the navbar you can see for the smaller screen size it has some layout and after the smaller screen size just see after the smaller screen size for the medium screen size the navbar is changed and this same layout is going forward for the large screen size or the double xl screen size okay so in the bootstrap documentation page we have two layers for the navbar and that is for one is for the small screen size or the extra small screen size and another one is for the medium screen size okay so for if you write some code for the medium screen size it will always reflected for the larger screen size also so we just don't need to write any code for the large screen size okay but just see that the right sidebar that we have seen the right sidebar is only appears for the larger screen size okay for the medium or the small screen size it is not appearing in the right side okay so in that case we write some code for the small screen size to visible the right screen size or the right sidebar at the bottom of the introduction and for the medium screen size it is always same so we don't need to write anything for the medium screen size and for only for the large screen size we have written some layout which will do the right screen size layout okay and for the see for the left navbar we have two layouts also one is for the small screen size which will provide us the toggle button and uh, the medium screen size range and large screen size range we have similar type of things that we have seen for the navbar okay so this is how you should lay out your website according to your screen size and bootstrap breakpoints help you to do this type of things and just note down this class infixes we will see in the later video or in the next video with the help of the class infixes how we can lay out this bootstrap system okay so i think this is all for the breakpoints in the next video we will see the bootstrap grid system and this is very much important point for any bootstrap beginners that understanding the grid system properly and i will highly recommend you for the upcoming video which is be based on the bootstrap grid system so if you don't want to miss that video then please access my playlist i will provide the link in the description of this video and also please subscribe to my channel the upcoming grid system video will be so much beautiful and so much well described that you will never get any type of doubt after that video okay so i think this is all for this video see you in the next video of the bootstrap grid system so see you then